Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nick Flow Show. I'm your host, Nick Flow, and today I'm going to be showing you guys, whether you're a master crafter or where you're just somebody who's going to help supply the master crafters, going to show you guys how to make a ton of babies, prep for Mod 13, and prep for Mod 13 Tier 5 Master Crafting, and it starts right now. And welcome back everybody so don't mind the footage in the background that's really all it is a little bit of background footage queued up a little regular dungeon to help some folks out so that's kind of what I'm using for the filler footage but what we're here for is master crafting and how to make some AD whether you're a master crafter or not now in our last video uh, Neverwinter's Lost City of Omu introduced a whole new tier of masterwork recipes for the end game community uh, for most the system and its products are well out of reach as you need to invest tens of millions of astro diamonds to unlock the latest it is Masterwork 4 and Masterwork 5 tiers, but even if you have no chance of getting there yourself, you can still profit from the update and supplying what others need. So let's quickly go over the required resources and what opportunities might arise for you guys. We covered supplying Masterwork 4 and now we're going to continue with how to prep for Masterworks 5 and Mod 13 and all its changes. Now, the process of leveling to Masterwork 5 recipes for the first time does not require delivering a set of specific items. Instead, in our first part, we're going to have to craft commissioned items in a first step that can be delivered to the Master of Market in exchange for what they're calling trade credit. Now, each profession offers four tasks that produce trade credit and the required amount is 50,000. Now I'm not sure how much the quests are going to give us, how many quests we're going to have to do, blah blah blah. All that stuff is still unfamiliar, but uh, since there is a great variety of different commission tasks, um, it is going to be really hard you know, for me to tell you guys you know, how to supply us specifically for this part of it. Um, but what I do know is that we are going to need a ton and a ton of Mount Hope Now items and what I'm talking about is the alum, the Salomoniac, the knitter, um, everything that comes from the Explorer's case, Mount Hope Now, we're really going to need that stuff because we're going to start crafting legendary items again. The same thing as when you became tier 2 Master Crafter, you had to make that legendary item without a really high percentage and that really sucks so I'm very interested to see how that pans out this time around but I can't stress to you guys enough the grind and uh, you're really going to want, especially if you're not a Master Crafter, we need this alum. We need gold ore, salamoniac, and it's up to you guys to put it on the auction house, you know. We don't want to stop what we're doing um, to go farm these materials. I mean, when it's a double event, we will do it because we're able to, you know, make the most of our time and make the most profit. But at the end of the day, none of the real big Master Crafters want to run and get these charts. They buy them on the auction house, guys. They buy them in huge bulk. So make sure you're out there grinding and getting these materials. Um, the next thing I also want to add is Batiri Prisms. Batiri Prisms are going to be so important. Um, there's something called Brilliant Beads. Brilliant Beads are going to be a huge, huge part in crafting a lot of the new items in the Lost City of Omu Mod 13. There's going to be so many items going to require Brilliant Beads that requires a bunch of Batiri Prisms. Now, obviously, Batiri Prisms, you can get them by just killing Batiri in, you know, Chult and probably in the Lost City of Omu as well. Um... And they are relatively cheap right now, but I can tell you the crafters are going to buy them in masses and it's going to make it a really hot item, especially, you know, once there's not so many on the auction house. So make sure you're saving your Batiri Prism. Don't throw them away. Don't sell them for cheap because we're going to need them. We need to make these brilliant beads. So there's that. Now here is something huge for you guys. This is something that is so hard for me to find and it makes me so angry why Cryptic and the developers of this game don't make this information a lot easier to find. Uh, trust me when I tell you it is not easy 
to get this information. Uh, you think it'd be right on the cryptic website, on Neverwinter's website, you know, wherever they want to put it, but you think it'd be more accessible. But as you can see, like I told you in the last video, the masterwork uh, temporary structures in the guild are being updated. As you can see here, they will now be making bright silver ingots, fiend, rubelite, all these items. All the Titan Steel items. Here's some more. We got the Artisan's Enamel, Burgundy Pitch, Manicore Felt, Snow Hair Yarn. All of these items, man. It's absolutely nuts. But let's go a little bit more in depth, guys. Here's some of the um, new items I've been able to kind of look at myself. Um, I haven't been able to see everything. But, uh, you know, here's a little list of what I have been able to see. Um, so as you can see, you know, we're going to need Bronze with Lumber and the bronze wood and enamel and all kinds of things so there's that and uh the big thing i kind of want to point here is right there in the middle the soul sight spectacles now i know with tier five you're gonna need to do legendary tasks and i'd imagine uh this is gonna be one of them so as you can see there is one of our first legendary task the soul sight spectacles looks like we're gonna need a couple gold wire some scintillion glass um, I don't know what that little black thing is, but I know you need four red rouge and uh, You know so you know it will be a uh, somewhat pricey and then it's gonna depend on what percentage and how they want us to make it So uh, I mean uh, pretty interesting stuff. It's definitely gonna differ uh, from tier one and tier two So you know pretty cool. I just thought I'd uh, show you the information I've been able to find um, and here's I'll go through it a little bit more. I had some other screenshots, you know, there's another one there uh, There's some people uh, You know writing me while I'm making a video, but that's how it is uh, feathered to get all of these items There it is for you guys um, So, uh, you know, it's gonna be insane. Look at look at all this stuff so much new items to craft so many look at the bank crew Pia down there the dino high down there um, These items are gonna cost quite a good amount so uh there's that and once again i just want to really stress gold ore and alum these two items are super huge we're talking explorer's case that takes you into the caverns and mount hope now gold ore and alum is not only needed to get from masterwork four to five but also for the final recipes the main culprit is once again those brilliant beads i'm telling you guys now whose production chain goes from the scintillion glass gold wire and gold ingots all the way down to the gold nuggets gold ore and the concentrated aqua regia which obviously you need plenty of alum to get there so other high selling former resources like dark alum and lacquer branch are in the doghouse from what i've seen and from what some people have told me so um I guess maybe try to sell as much of those as you can before Mod 13 just because they won't be in such high demand. But other than that, I, I can't stress enough. Gold ore and alum are going to be absolutely huge. And then a new material called lion hide you're gonna need lion hide and allosaur fangs um, a lot of masterwork 5 recipes require some of these resources and obviously they just drop from the world um, but the big thing is that with mod 13 we have cradle of the death god and cradle of the death god is mod 13's newest raid uh, they don't call it a raid but by golly from what i've seen it's definitely a damn raid and uh in here you're going to be getting items that are called uh lich stone you're also going to be getting a few other items called tier of uptal and the malt of soul fire and these are also going to be items you're going to need for crafting in mod 13 so you're definitely going to need to get your gear get some buddies and uh get in that raid and get some of these drops um i don't know if they're going to be bound um on pickup or if they're going to be sellable um i'd imagine they're going to be tradable sellable usable so uh there's that guys
so i'm just hoping this guide really helped you guys out uh mod 13 is only 10 days away um i'm sure you can do plenty of grinding in the next 10 days getting ready for it um i really just want to show you guys maybe some of the recipes that i came across and then obviously maybe give you a little bit of information on what i thought are the most important materials for you guys to save so if you haven't done so already and you've been to my channel before definitely consider subscribing and hitting that like button for your boy um i do this to really help you guys out so i really appreciate it and we'll catch you guys on the next nick flow show peace out